I mentioned the, the field bands, and you guys are up to how many field bands? There are 12 field bands. 12 field bands at most of the major Marine Corps installations. Right. You know, one thing we haven't talked about is uh, we've talked about the musician part, but not the Marine yeah. part. And obviously that's uh, the key component to being a Marine musician. Let me go ahead first of all, just to say yeah. also, um, I just wanted to make sure that I did not forget, nor will I forget, our Marine Drum and Bugle Corps, the Commandant's Zone, and also the, the third element of the program, which is the uh, United States Marine Band, the, the President's Zone. Okay. And for folks who, who don't know, the, the Drum and Bugle Corps, many times they'll see them with the Silent Drill Platoon, yes. which, which I think are a little bit more familiar with. Yeah. But, you know, get, getting to the, the Marine side, and I'm sure that's uh, for anyone considering Considering the Marine Corps as an option for a musician, certainly uh, you can't get past the fact that the, that Marines are Marines first, regardless of what they do as far as their day-to-day -day job goes. But a lot of folks ha have a hard time or don't understand, well, what does a musician do in combat? Do they go to combat? I mean, can, can you fill in the blanks a little bit, and what does that Marine side look like for a musician? Well, the Marine side is um, you get the opportunity as a Marine musician to also have a collateral duty as a security element. So what that means to you is, yes, you get the opportunity to, to deploy. And not only do you deploy, you get to do something totally and completely different, which is an interesting dynamic. You get to be a security element, which means you'll be doing convoy security operations maybe, or you might be you know, in charge of the Tactical Air Command Center for the wing or something like that, pulling, um, doing security duty there. And what's great about that is your exposure and your... Um, you are certainly well versed at weapons such as the 50 cal machine gun or what used to be the M203 grenade launcher or the Mark 19 grenade launcher or you know the M60 and I think that provides a great diversity to what to what we do as as marine musicians and not a lot of people know that do you uh, in addition to uh, obviously you're going to uh, deploy into combat situation with your weapons but uh, do you take the instruments as long as well are there, are we there do. music duties in combat uh, in the, mu to those? the music duties, that's funny you should mention that, they vary, generally no, depends which band you're in, where you're at. If you're, um, you know, I've had to do some things for the, the Commandant might show up on a surprise visit, we need to provide musical support for them. The musical support's obviously limited because, I mean, when you're pulling 13 to 14 hours of guard duty a day, you know, it's difficult to, you know, to do both at the same time. But we adapt, overcome, had some good technology so we could, you know, provide some Dixieland music or some jazz music or, you know, maybe some brass quintet music for the Commandant. I want to ask you to get into the details of the audition because we can provide a link. I know you have those on your website. Right. We can provide a link to those auditions. But uh, for those folks who, who want to come in and want to find out more, what do you suggest they do next? Well, the first step is you're going to have to go see the guy down the street from your house or the gal down the street, uh, depending on, on who is your local Marine Corps representative. But first you have to go see them because what they're going to do is figure out if you qualify to be a Marine first. And that's first and foremost because if you're not qualified to be a Marine mentally, morally, and physically, then there's nowhere else to go there. To be a musician, you have to first be qualified to be a Marine. And the audition process, once that goes down, once... Once we mentally, morally, and physically qualify you to be a Marine, then they're going to give the musician, the uh, musician placement director, a call in your area, and then the screening process begins for that. They're going to screen you out on the. They're going to screen you, ask you a bunch of questions. They're going to set up a time where they can listen to you over the phone, because if you're in Chicago, and the the placement director is based out of Kansas City. Um, we're going to make sure that, that you're ready to take an audition. So we're going to listen to you over, over the phone first, and then they'll come and audition you. And they've got basic information at the recruiting office. They've got videos. They've got reference materials. They've got the information that's in their Marine Corps Opportunities book. That's going to outline the basic requirements. It's going to tell you where the bands are. It's going to tell you the process and things of that nature. But the local rep has got the uh, musician placement director's number you know, on a speed dial, so he can call, and if they can't get the answer for you that day, he's going to have it for you by the next day. So they're pretty readily available. If there are folks out there who, you know, they think this might be at least an option to, to explore anyway, are you able to tell them what makes a good Marine musician? The Marine Corps, the Marine Corps and the, mar the band program are very similar. And what I mean by that is, okay, marching bands, or any band for that matter, there's a bunch of people that are sitting in a bunch of chairs and they're going to work for a common goal. Now, I would have to say the Marine Corps is fairly good at doing that. You take a bunch of people, 
throw them into boot camp, and by the end of it, they're an oiled machine ready to take on the world. The similarities when you're talking about also discipline, they understand, my bands understand what discipline, what discipline is. Yeah, Marine Corps kind of has something to do with that. They go hand in hand as well. So I'd have to say that anyone that's a bandsman should make an uh, outstanding Marine due to the fact that what the bands do to put on a, a great performance requires rehearsal, dedication, attention to detail, precision, a little bit about the Marine Corps. It's about the same, I would have to say. It sounds like you're saying that, that being in a band yep. is good preparation that overall. That would be it. To being be a in a band, yeah. It's about the best preparation you can almost get, actually, the best preparation you can get. Well, I certainly appreciate you uh, taking time out of a Sunday afternoon, Mass Sergeant, to uh, hang out with me for a bit. What, was there a, is there anything important that, that, that we haven't talked about that you think is, is key to becoming a Marine musician or, or deciding whether or not it, it's the Marine Corps is the, the right place for you? Whether you're someone deciding to, to come in or whether you're a parent or an educator deciding whether or not to recommend the Marine Corps to, you know, to a certain individual? You touched on the educators. You touched on the parents. It's very important for us at anybody, at any level, whether it be you're in the Marine Corps or not, to make good, informed decisions. When there's somebody getting ready to leave high school, is college the best thing for them? Is the Marine Corps the best thing for them? Those answers can only be told when you have informed decisions. Options are, are extremely important. If the Marine Corps is certainly an option, and as educators and as parents and administrators, they have to understand these are options that need to be considered, whether it be the Marine Corps or any other branch of service. Is the military something that the child, the high school senior, should be, should be doing? It's definitely an option. And in college, the dynamic changes. When you get a degree or if you're going through college and your circumstances change, there are options out there to be considered in terms of the military is a definite option at any time, whether you're a high school graduate, you have some college, you've got a bachelor's, you've got a master's degree. There's many, many options out there. All I would say is you have to explore them. Is the Marine Corps right for everybody? Sure it is. Well, not necessarily, but, you know, I'm a little biased that after a long time in, but it's not for everybody. People need certain things. They want certain things. The Marine Corps, can, can the Marine Corps give it to them? To them, that's an interesting question. But if you don't make good, informed decisions, you don't know. If you don't know the information, if you don't have the information, I can tell you, you're not going to join the Marine Corps. That's for sure. You're not going to join any military service for that matter. But options, I think, are the most important thing for everybody to, to consider. And there are many options. Mr. Sergeant Martin, thanks uh, very much again for spending time with, uh, with the Midwest Marines and helping us launch our new uh, webcast project. For our listeners, uh, you'll find a link to all Marine Corps bands and audition requirements, as well as instructions for getting Marine Corps bands to your town on our website posted with this webcast. In addition to downloading a webcast from the Midwest Marines official website, you'll also find uh, excerpts and related commentary on the Midwest Marines blog at midwestmarines.posterous.com. Uh, remember that this is your webcast, and we want you asking the questions for future interviews. Check our website or blog or follow the Midwest Marines on Twitter for announcements of upcoming guests and deadlines for submitting your questions. Thanks for listening.